Well, I think the important thing to think about in terms of Romney is he really does come from that tradition of, of moderate Republicans. His father was an important moderate Republican leader uh, as a governor of Michigan. And, and he was governor of Massachusetts, more or less as a moderate Republican who, who pushed through a health care system that looks a lot like the federal system that Obama uh, adopted. Uh, the important thing to know is that, is that from 2008 on, Romney has been, wants to be president. And he's been willing to adopt the positions of the far right to become the, the nominee. Uh, and if you watch the primary process, uh, on one issue or after the other, he adopted the hardest right position, whether it was immigration against Rick Perry, uh, uh, on a whole series of these issues, he was on the right. And uh, when it came to uh, Planned Parenthood, he's not only against it, he's, when he becomes president, the first thing he's going to do is get rid of it. I don't know exactly how a president gets rid of it, but that's, that's, his, that's his rhetoric. Um, so I think on, on key issues such as tax cuts for the rich, uh, 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 budget cuts for for social programs, education, infrastructure, uh, 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 reproductive rights for women, environmental protections. Uh, on every issue, he's pretty much nailed himself down to a Tea Party agenda. And everyone's speculating, well, we know he's a moderate, so when he gets into the general election, he's going to go back into the middle. I'm not sure that that's the right way to think about it. He comes, he's, he wants to be president, and he knows that it'll be very hard for him to run in the general if he has the Tea Party uh, calling him a sellout. Uh, if, if the Tea Party is saying, hey, why are you betraying your principles? Uh, uh, he will have a very tough sledding for this general. I expect him to run in the general basically in what he ran in the primaries. And that's, and that's why when I say the Tea Party has set the agenda for these Republicans. The Tea Party has surely set the agenda for Romney. Well, interestingly, it's a very good question. Interestingly, one of the dynamics taking place is that the Koch brothers finance the Americans for Prosperity, and one of their programs is actually training uh, conservative activists, Tea Party activists, in the use of the social media. You know, how do you use the social media to run campaigns? And so I don't think there's a contradiction there. I think that they're very well aware of the power of social media and how it's been used by, by uh, uh, their political adversaries and they want to do the same. Uh, I wouldn't overstress the role of this. I mean, the demo first there's the demographic issue that that uh, of who, who are the Tea Party supporters, most of them rely heavily on television. And television is very important. And that's why they're going to invest a lot of money in advertising. You know, we're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars coming from these uh, uh, super PACs and other corporate slush funds to fund this advertising. And we're looking at, uh, uh, you know, the role of Fox News and, and other media, including the other big place where they get people get their news is radio. Uh, Rush Limbaugh, uh, you know, Glenn Beck. Yes, so these, the role of the role of these sort of more traditional media should not be underestimated. Radio, TV. Yeah. Well, I, I can tell you what trajectory they're on. And maybe that's, and in that sense, Maybe the history has already been written. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, increasingly, they are playing the role of a traditional political pressure group lobby. Uh, 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 they're increasingly disciplined by organizations such as Americans for Prosperity or Freedom Works. They're increasingly integrated into the campaigns for Republican candidates. Um, uh, I'm not sure that they are that they are going to maintain a particular identity or 
uh, apart from being the conservative, you know, they are the conservative wing of the Republican Party, and it's now, right now, the, the wing that's calling the shots in that party, and, and um, I think that's where they want to be. As far as this very noisy, in the streets uh, phenomena that we saw during the healthcare debates, um, I'm not sure that they're capable of sustaining much of that. Uh, but that doesn't mean they're not important. Uh, uh, but they're just playing a more traditional party role. So they're going to continue to play an important role, but it's going to not be that much in the public eye as you've seen through the movements on television and the newspaper. You know, when the media goes and tries to interview a Tea Party person today, they usually get someone either from Freedom Works or Americans for Prosperity or one of these other corporate lobbies. Um, and, and I think the, one of the reasons why that is that the public face of these people uh, is just, it's just not what it was two years ago. And, and I, ex I expect that public face is, is to diminish. I mean, there's, I have no reason to believe that uh, for a, a public resurgence of the Tea Party in the way it was. 2009. All right, thank you so much.